what I want to show you here um, is just this Curtis website and I think this is the great site and it's very helpful to have it or to know it where it is okay and uh, when you have the Curtis controller flashing out the error code for you what you can do read the error code from the flashes and just come to the site type the controller you're working on so last time I had the error code on the controller 1234SE and the error code I had was 29 okay so I type this in press submit and this will give you the fault name right here so motor temperature sensor okay and uh, will tell you what actions will that trigger so max speed reduced tem motor temperature cut back disabled okay and then it will tell you the fault causes so number one motor thermistor is not connected properly i think this is possibly most common one so broken wire broken connector maybe broken thermistor as well um so it'll give you all these causes number one two three this this actually freeze tells you where to go on anal on a analyzer if you have so you just go and go on analyzer monitor menu mo mo motor temperature and inputs analog to so yeah it's called analog to actually this is good information here analog to because if you go in a pin out here you push you press on a pin out it will bring you this schematic okay and this is all the wiring for your motor controller which is i think is very great um, here on the left hand side you see this analog 2 again so this analog 2 is your input from the thermistor okay so on the thermistor wires it shows you where they are connected and that would be pin number seven and number eight so number seven is for the ground and number eight is the input analog too okay so if you have a plug disconnected you can actually measure resistance between pin number seven and number eight and you should read something there based on your ambient temperature or the motor temperature okay so th i think this is really really useful site to have